there Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I will be doing a reading for September 25th through October 1st. This is intended to be a weekly reading. I'm going to use these four decks that I have out right here for you. This is intended to be a love reading. I think I might have said weekly reading, but it's intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This is for Sagittarius. This may or may not resonate as it is for hundreds and thousands of people. If you want to um, subscribe, you can just hit the subscribe button down below. If you want notifications every time I upload a new video, you hit the bell next to the subscribe. If you don't want the notifications and just want to come back easily, then you hit the subscribe. I have pre-shuffled these decks, so I'm going to go with what I think I should go with. And I think we are ready. The center of your reading is the high priest. That's an inner guide, okay? Listening to your inner guide. That's the, that is the main um, basis of your reading. Just wanted to let you know about that right away, but I'm going to zoom this in. Might have to move that candle. Okay, so, um, yeah, so we have this high priest in the middle. All right, that high priest says a lot of things that, that can mean that somebody needs counseling. It can mean that somebody is blocking you from moving forward. Um, it can mean um, this is a spiritual connection to the divine. All right, so take that as a note that you are very divinely connected at this time. Be aware. Um, right next to it, we have the emperor. That's a sign of Aries, but it's also a sign of being in control of a situation, remaining in control. You know, we, this is supposed to be a love reading. Um, we're going to see what comes up here. Mm -hmm. There's not any, there's only one cups here, which is love, and it's not a good one. It's the five of cups. The five of cups is things not turning out the way you'd hoped in regards to a relationship things did not come to fruition you had higher expectations for it but it just didn't come to fruition okay and so now you might you know it's you might be focusing on your work more um, I see that maybe there was some impulsiveness there could have been some hasty words that were said or some words of um, that came out very bluntly um, and, you know, I think that may make, be making you feel uh, not very happy, okay? Um, you do have the shadow side, which is the devil card here. That's addictions. And under here we have, like, this is like a counseling. So I'm not sure if there's some addictions here. Or I'm just saying what I see. There's also, that's also obsessions and manipulation. And right next to this emperor, I mean, connected to the emperor, and this is the Knight of Swords, it looks like there was like a control factor, or there is a control factor this week. This is the week of September 1st through October, September 25th through October 1st. Okay, and it looks like there could be some manipulation. There could be somebody who's trying to control you or you're trying to control somebody because the, these energies are always vice versa, either or. Uh, you or somebody that you're dealing with could be in the workplace. Either way, um, it could be a friend, could be a father, could be a mother, could be a lover. Okay, it does look like there is some um, very um, spiteful, hasty, opinionated, energy here and where there's there's a somebody wants to be in control and that is absolutely clear and I think that you are absolutely resisting it because you, this is the resistance you are not going to be controlled in any way so that's what that tells me um, and it's and it's caused you to go to retreat perhaps perhaps you're feeling like you know what I'm just gonna step right out of this for a while I'm gonna step right away and just Pretend that it never happened, okay? 
because here we have pretending and this is stepping away stepping out to go within and just be by yourself and heal for a little bit over what just happened okay this is the moon card the moon card is fear it's also about secrets so maybe a secret was revealed and you knew about it the whole time anyway because this is following your inner guide and this is also a blockage so whoever is coming to mind while I'm talking to you they could be blocking you okay blocking you from the ultimate abundance that you seek now we have an air sign here Libra Gemini Aquarius we have Pisces um, we have Aries we have Scorpio we have the uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Now, like I said, this can involve, doesn't have to be a lover. It can be a mother, a father, a sister, a brother, a lover, a friend, okay? Either way, somebody is blocking you from the ultimate abundance that you seek, all right? You've had higher expectations, but they didn't come to fruition, and that, things just did not turn out the way you hoped. And I think this week you're having sadness over it you're not happy about it there's probably a secret that comes out and you knew about it the whole time anyway okay with this high priestess this is your inner guide this is the inner knowing all right perhaps there was um this is tension and disagreements i mean there was there's been some tensions and some disagreements whoever comes to mind during this reading is correct this is saying do not doubt don't doubt your first thought. That's your intuition. Do not doubt it. It's right on, okay? This right here, the two of wands, this is the fork in the road. This is where you're, you decide to change the course because you're not going to be controlled. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm out of here, all right? That's what I see. Um, I'm going to get the next deck. This isn't supposed to be a love reading, but I'm seeing that some secret may have come out or something's going on behind the scenes and you know what it is may not have come out yet but you know that something is going on okay and it's not good it's not good with this knight of swords it's conflicting it causes challenges and it can be spiteful and you just want to stay right the hell away from it because this is the resistance for the hangman okay It's like you're stuck in a situation right now. You're stuck. And you just, you know what, I'm just going to stay here. But I'm going to stay in the background. I'm going to stay right in the background. And I'm just going to pretend that none of this is happening. You know, I have the ability to block it all out. And I think that this week you're going to be blocking some shit out. Because this is the blockage right here. So... Ace of Cups, that's a good card. Five of Swords, twice. That's, there's a lot of tension and disagreements. There could be some mental abuse even, or some verbal abuse. All right, Page of Coins. But you just want a new foundation. You want to start something new, and you've been waiting a long time. And it's like, fuck, excuse my language. When is this going to happen? This is taking forever. But, okay. Slow and steady wins the race. Yes, yes. New love or a resurgence of a relationship is taking forever. All right, I see that. This is new love. This is conflicts. This can be like abuse. It can. It's tension, disagreements, negativity. Okay, this right here is it's just very slow movement. Very slow movement, but it's positive. It may come slowly, but it's it's strong. Okay, it's stable and secure. So, you know, it takes a lot of patience. So, just saying, Ace of Swords, yeah, some over the moon, some truth is going to come out. This is the powerful truth. Okay, with these Five of Swords, there's definitely something. You've known about this the whole time, whatever this is. Oh, faith. Okay, this is the Hierophant again. You have it twice. Um seriously you have to listen to your inner guide do not doubt your intuition for a minute also big deal there is definitely a blockage here you could be blocking things out or this person could be blocking you from this new love okay these are both new opportunities when the truth comes out 
you that was an opportunity god or the universe or whoever your higher power is gave you this truth okay so now what are you gonna do with it are you gonna stay stuck like this hangman or are you gonna this is new love all right you gonna take a practical approach because that's what she does Six of Wands. Victory. That's a victory. That's feeling very proud of your accomplishments. Self-respect and self-worth. So when this truth gets offered to you, take into account your self-respect, your self-worth, your self-confidence, who you are, who you want to be. Okay, do you want to have these conflicts? Do you want to have this tension? What are you going to do when you get handed this truth? Okay, you need the, the answer is right here. Follow your inner guide. And your inner guide is usually your first gut instinct. Okay. I'm going to get these angels of, uh, these romance angels cards. Romance, I cannot talk today either. Romance angel cards. I'm trying to get this done before my daughter gets home from school. Finances and career, that's a big deal. That is, definitely. You might, okay, it's right over this new love. You might meet somebody through your job, just saying. All right, just saying, because that's what it can mean. It can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be an air sign, too. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Financial, it, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. They are. This can mean so many things. The cards can. You take it how it fits for you. Soulmate. Somebody's blocking you from your soulmate. You have blockage here, blockage here, soulmate here. Yes, this is your soulmate. You're obsessed in, with somebody else. You are. This is the obsession. Children. Interesting. And that page is a child, too. And you have the page. And, okay, just going to stop. Your love life is being affected by children. Absolutely. In some way. And I know you know how that affects you. Maybe you want to have another child. And, you know, it's really affecting you at this time. Maybe somebody doesn't. Maybe somebody. Maybe you don't want to have another child and somebody does. Maybe you have children and somebody, you know, doesn't really want that right now. Or maybe uh, vice versa. They have children and you really don't want that right now. That's a factor in your love life. You take it how it fits for you. And you could even be the child in the situation. And this could be a father or a mother who is blocking you. Okay? Just saying it. you gotta, you got to figure it out how it fits with you. This is coming. This is some truth is going to come to you. It's handed to you from above. What are you going to do with it? Because right here we have a new beginning in love. It's up to you. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Could be with somebody that you're with, or it could be somebody that you haven't met yet. You, when you, you, ha somebody comes to mind. If it doesn't, you haven't met them yet. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. As you release and heal the past. There's a lot of tension, these fives of swords. There's mental angst. Either it's abusive, somebody has been abusively treating you like that, or you're treating yourself like that. You could be doing that, and that's a big factor in your love life if you are doing that to yourself. That could be, you could be blocking yourself by negative thoughts. Just saying. Ooh! My God, this looks good. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Seriously. 
could be somebody from your past. You might know who this person is already. And it doesn't have to be somebody that you've dated in the past. You, they, they might just be an acquaintance. Okay? It could lead to being true love in your soulmate. So this is the week of September 25th through October 1st. You might finally remove a blockage that heads you in this direction. It might be the first step. I'm going to get you one of my whispers of love. Express love through gifts. A lot of people are getting this card. Seriously. A lot. This must be a big deal. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. A gift is visible evidence of your loving thoughts. A gift does not need to be expensive. Showing someone your favorite place, sharing a favorite song, or writing a note of gratitude are all gifts. This lets the receiver intend this the this lets the receiver you intend this for know that you care. Showing someone a favorite place, sharing a favorite song, or writing a note of gratitude are all gifts. Interesting. That might release some negativity. I bet it would. Anyway, I gotta go. Talk to you later.